Hello there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you today? It is your girl Achola and today on Achola's Closet we are styling a black blazer baby. Now these are just some of the ways I do love to wear my black blazer. However, you already know black blazer, the possibilities are endless, absolutely style it with anything in your closet. But before we dive into the video, if you are new here, welcome here on Achala's Closet. We talk personal style and just how to look and feel amazing at any budget. And um, to my returning subscribers, thank you all so much for coming back. Now back to our today's video. A black blazer, of course, is a must have in every single closet. And if you don't have one, I feel like you are missing out. And um, for today's video, we are styling my double breasted blazer from H&M. This one I bought it, I think about three, maybe four years ago now. But um, a black blazer is a black blazer. It depends on your style and what you like. For me, I have this double breasted. It's a little bit boxy. It's a little bit longer as well, but I also have your classic tailored black blazer and also have some short ones and whatnot, different variations of a black blazer. So you just got to find which one you love, which one is more your style, and then just pick that one up, right? The first look, I actually have a full-on white look. You guys remember the white pants from Simon's. Now I'm pairing that with this Noisy May tank with an asymmetrical hem. The tank, I bought it from Hudson's Bay a long time ago too. But, um, but of course the idea is just to, you know, do a full white on white under and then just pop on your black blazer. Now I complete that with, I know, your girl, I'm telling you, I'm getting into flats now. It's not even funny, but I am completing that with my pointy toe flats from H&M. Now, if I am to do a bag with this, I will definitely complete it with my green handbag from Simon's because I feel like this outfit could use a little bit of color and I also love the structure of this. And with it being such a casual look, I think this bag just completes it better. So next up, I've got this beautiful outfit on right now and I can't tell you how sexy this feels on. So I am wearing this striped men's shirt that I bought from Simon's just a couple of years ago. I'm pairing it with my floral corset that I thrifted maybe 12 years ago but I honestly just love this corset and for the longest time I actually didn't wear it but I still kept it in my wardrobe and I'm so glad I actually kept it and not gotten, and not gotten rid of it like the many things I've gotten rid of because now it just makes a lot more sense and I feel like last year has been the most times I've ever worn this corset. Now, my favorite part has got to be the cuffs. It is extremely long. It, um, every once in a while, I'll style it with cuff links. So you'll just fold it over. I guess it's got the French cuff. So you'll just add your cuff links right there, which looks pretty good as well think about it but what I like about this is just having the extra long cuff and um, to complete it I'm gonna use my tiny quilted black bag 
and that is from Simon's as well, but I just love this look. I think it is so chic, so sexy. It's very covered, but yet you are giving a lot of legs, which I think is just perfect this summer. right here is actually one of my favorite looks especially for summer and um, you can definitely do this with any blazer that you have in your closet it doesn't necessarily have to be a black blazer pairing my Aritzia leather pants pair that with this men's gingham shirt from H&M and this actually used to be my boyfriend's shirt, but um, not anymore. Now, I just pair that with the black blazer, of course, roll up the sleeve. And th so I literally just do two buttons right here. Take the one side and just tack it in like that and you are good it is very stylish <laughs> so this is very stylish very trendy I mean it's it gives you that vibes of casual but not really casual but I still think it's such a beautiful look And to complete it, you guys already know I love using pop of color. Now for this look, I will definitely use my Topshop small yellow bag here. This I bought it, I believe, last summer. And um, yeah, just like that and we are good for work. This look right here, again, is one of my favorite looks that you will see me doing time after time. I've always done this kind of looks. And um, I just love the mixture of lace with the leather and then just pop on a black blazer. And um, I just, I think it is very sexy. This tunic is from La Chateau. It's one of my old pieces as well. Initially though, it had a lining underneath, but not in me. I cut the lining out because I just thought it looked like it looks more sexier like this. And um, I can just pair it with a black bra like this and you can't, and it's still, it just looks, I know, I love the look. And um, I pair that with my short, mini short skirt from Dynamite that I also bought years ago. So for shoes, we are completing it with my Urban Behavior Python heel here. And as for a bag, I think I will definitely just reuse the yellow because of the little bits of yellow in the shoes. So this look right here is just me using a blazer, like this black blazer to turn, to like tone down an outfit, right? So I have this multi print look on. The skirt is from La Chateau. The blouse is Vera Moda. I picked it up from uh, Hudson's Bay ages ago as well. Now I just pair that with the blazer because I want to pull the whole look together. And um, I think it just looks beautiful. I love it. <laughs> if you work in an office, a corporate work, something like that, you can definitely wear this for work.
All right, so I thought I would do a denim look in the styling video today. And if you know me, I like me a good straight leg denim. So I am wearing one that is thrifted last summer. I pair that with this beautiful multi-color floral print blouse that I bought from Simons. I love this high neck. Just makes it so classy, very modest, you know. For me, this will be like my casual day look for work because I'm still rocking a blazer to make it very work. And then just a denim bottom to uh, bring it down just a notch. So next up, I created a suit with this black blazer here. I paired it with my Simon's straight leg trousers. To complete it, I used my Halston Heritage tank right here. I bought this from, um, I think, Hudson's Bay years ago. And um, for belt, I'm using my rope belt with the tassel details here. And um, if you watch my trend video, you already know where I picked this one up from. And um, I just think it is such a beautiful look. Now for a bag, for a bag, I think I'll definitely do my cheetah print because I could use a little touch of print and color with this outfit. So I have on this python shirt right here, paired with this gorge of white skirts with the pleat at the front. If you are following me on Instagram, you've probably seen the skirt on there last year. And um, I just love this skirt. I think it's very pretty, very ladylike. Now pair that with the blazer. I'm gonna belt it up. <laughs> right, and you also want to pay attention to the hardware's on your clothing so now because my buttons are gold i also have gold accessories going on i decided to use my black belt with the gold closure there the belt is by ralph lauren i bought it years ago as well from uh, hudson's bay but i just love this belt So in this next look, I'm just pairing the black blazer over my rose print La Chateau dress and I think it is beautiful. Now with this dress, of course, I've worn it with a red blazer before, I've done it with white blazer, but it's kind of nice to do actually like to pair it with a black blazer like this. and. Um, I wouldn't mind actually doing it with the gray as well because the rose has got a little bit of a gray color right there. So I think it will be really nice, but I also love the black with it. So for the final look, I decided to show you guys how I am going to be taking this blazer into, let's say, a night out or a party. 
For me, if you have been following me for a little while now, you know I am obsessed with tacking in my blazers, especially into skirts. And as you follow me here on YouTube, you are going to see a different variations of this look being done with different skirts and things like that. You've already seen one with that red cape and the pleated, well, oh, and the fringe pleather skirt. Now I am just taking this black blazer. I tacked it into my bubble lasha toe skirt that I am in love with. I think this is just such a chic and sexy look. It is creating your own kind of dress, if you know what I mean. And um, to complete this, I'll just reuse my quilted bag right here. I love the handle, the pearls. Um, that is definitely one of my favorite. For shoes, you know your girl loves her pop of color. So we are completing that with my 11th pair of yellow heels. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave me a comment below and let me know which ones were your favorite from one to 10. I would love to know. And with that, you have a great rest of the day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.